Here we go. Everyone could utilize the Wabi brain scan. And when it comes to brain health, I think giving people an understanding of it is correlated to a lot of different things. It's not just our physical health. It's also our mental health. Um, based on what we're measuring in the brain, you know, we're checking things that are related to focus, alertness, um, you know, depression, anxiety, as well as what we need to return back to a sport. So if we've had some sort of head trauma and we're trying to get back into that sport, we want to make sure that our reactivity, our focus is still there. So we're not as, uh, as risk for injury when we return back to that sport. Before you take your Wabi brain scan, there's a few things that you need to know. One, we want to make sure that you're well rested, you know, you've had food in your system. We want to make sure that your brain is ready to function. Uh, what we also recommend that there's no alcohol intake two days prior to your exam, just because we want to make sure that the objective findings that we're getting are accurate. A lot of times, you know, lack of sleep, uh, alcohol use, um, cigarette smoking, those kind of things can alter those results. And we want to make sure that we get a good baseline before uh, we do that exam. The setup is quick and easy. It only takes about five to six minutes to put the electrodes in the headset. And then the test itself is anywhere between 20 to 25 minutes. So in total, it's about 30 minutes. At PAR PT, we're using the Wabi brain scan for research specific to brain function and actual external results. So over the past 10 years, we've been seeing changes in uh, not only strength, stability, endurance, we've seen changes in POT symptoms, we've seen changes in uh, re reduction of subluxation. So we're seeing a lot of things from a physical standpoint. Um, but our theory is that we believe a lot of it starts with the brain. Um, most people know that having these conditions, if they start off too quick, they get injured or they can get subluxations. And our thought is, what we found is that starting with the brain first helps produce the changes externally, but we don't have those objective findings for it. Uh, we have those objective findings for strength and stability with other tests, but nothing in the brain. So we've introduced the Wabi scan in order to show uh, what the brain reaction time, physical time, the brain voltage is going on pre-treatment and then post-programming treatment to see, okay, are the results externally matching what we're seeing internally? So that's going to be one of the exciting things that we have planned for 2023. All of our evaluations include the Wabi brain scan for our research that we're um, conducting this year. And this applies to both Austin and Houston. Uh, Austin will be related to the first half of the year and then Houston for the back half of the year. So um, if it's something that's related to more pediatric or wellness programs, the Wabi doesn't apply. It's just uh, really for the, the people that we see with complex conditions. <music> All patients who undergo the Wabi brain scan, their information is completely confidential. All we're using is the objective findings and the statistics as a way to gather everything that we need for the research. At PAR-PT, our initial consultations are pretty in-depth, so they include three different things. So we have our Wabi brain scan that essentially collects all the brain information, the objective findings that we need um, pre-treatment. And then we also have one that comes post-treatment. So we have, we're checking brain voltage and then brain reaction time. Um, after that, we have our initial evaluation where we cover three systems. So we cover our vestibular system checking, our GI, and our autonomic systems check. In addition to functional movement screenings and everything else that we check during the, the assessment itself. And lastly, we have our program. So our programs come in six levels, they last between six to 10 weeks. And this is where it's an individualized program and it's not a protocol, it's not a one size fits all. We create the program from scratch and then once we have these, uh, these exercises, we put them on a PDF. The exercises are hyperlinked because we do have a library of over 450 uh, exercises itself. So it is going to be tailored to the person, but that's also something that we create during the session. So. In total, you're getting three different things encompassed in one hour.
a common question that we get is how long does it take to see results? And this question's a little bit tricky because it varies with each person. I would say over the past 10 years, where we've been doing our research with both subjective and objective findings, we're finding that um, usually within that first six to eight weeks, there's about a 50% reduction in overall symptoms. So whatever you come in with, chop it in half. Because this varies on complexity of condition, um, whether or not there's compliance with the homework that we give you, which is your home program, that can take a little bit longer. There might be some things medically that pop up that may put a little bit of a delay in that progress. So there's various things, but typically what we find is that within that first six to eight weeks, we're seeing 50% of the symptoms resolve, and then it's going to point us in a direction where we need to target other areas. Um, when it comes to that second phase, because how we have it structured is we have a phase one, two, and three. So after that first phase, we understand, okay, what was really compensation and, and autonomic regulation? And then we go to the real physical components. And so we're able to address that in the phase two. Typically, on average, we're doing about 20 to 25% reduction again in the symptoms that you had. And so, um, and then that last 25% varies because of the type of condition. If it's something that is chronic, that might be the cap. If it's something that's a little bit more acute, you might find a little bit more. But overall, it gives you a better understanding of how the program works, what the expectations are, um, and how it correlates with both the program itself that we give you and the treatments that we're doing. Our custom and individualized programs work a little bit different than what most people are used to with traditional physical therapy programs, whether it's on a piece of paper. Um, we have a PDF that's hyperlinked going into very, very specific details on when to do it, how many repetitions, um, time of the day. It's very specific because we are targeting the way that autonomic nervous system is working. So to give you an idea, we have six levels. And within these levels, it takes about 10 to 14 days between each level before you progress. So we have shorter, smaller progressions that last you long term. So some cases people can do it in 10 days. Um, and in other cases, it, people may have a little bit more difficulty. So it may take them three weeks to complete the level. So this is why the programs are so are so good for each person because they can take their time. It's at their own pace. And it's divided up in a way to where you're not spending a ton of time during the day trying to do them. Uh, for an example, we have a morning routine that is essentially four exercises. It's you do one round of it and you're basically done for the day. Um, that takes about less than four minutes to do. And when we say morning routine, it doesn't mean that you have to do them while you're in bed. It's really there to um, do before you actually get started with your day because what it does, it helps the brain reset and your body reset um, with the information that it needs to have prior to moving forward in that day. And then we have our upper and lower body components. So we have an upper body routine that alternates uh, to the next day with a lower body routine. And again, there are only four exercises. We're always doing two rounds of three to six repetitions. And when you think about what that looks like, people might think, okay, well, why am I only doing three to six repetitions? It only takes the body a few repetitions to understand it. And so with people, especially with chronic illness, they're hypersensitive. So maybe an athlete might not be as sensitive to someone with a chronic illness. So if I'm throwing 12 repetitions, those principles might be more strength and conditioning versus more motor control when we're trying to get that mind and body connection, which is really, really important um, in any sort of chronic state, right? And that alone will only take about 10 to 12 minutes a day to do. So you're thinking four minutes in the morning, 10 to 12 minutes in the afternoon, your total investment of the day is anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes. Um, that's really, really important. One for compliance and two, uh, I think it makes people feel better without feeling like pressured and uh, maybe a little bit more anxious about the things that they need to do. It's put in a way both that your body and your brain can tolerate these movements throughout the week. And it's easier to transition to other exercises um, at a comfortable pace versus going from maybe you're lifting your leg and you're going straight into squats the next day. Just the body doesn't respond like that. So um, having that uh, help between the levels, between the 
descriptions on the PDF and us as therapists, we're, you're able to ask us questions. And so if there's something you're not sure of, we can go over it. There's a lot of teamwork that's involved with these programs. Um, and I think that's the reason why it's had high success for people. Our pediatric programs at PAR-PT are a little bit different. Um, this typically is for people, kids under the age of 12. And what we do is we put block programming. So over the course of the time that you're receiving treatment from us, we're making blocks on a week, maybe by monthly basis as a way to gradually increase the progression. Whereas an adult, we have things structured a little bit more over the course of 10 to 12 weeks. So having four things to do versus maybe the 12 things you would do as an adult is the difference between our pediatric programs and our adult. In addition to that, we also teach the caregivers or the parents certain specific techniques that they can do on the time that they aren't in the clinic as a way to gradually improve their progress throughout the, uh, their plan of care. We know that life happens, whether you're stuck in traffic, some sort of life event, or maybe you're just feeling under the weather. Just know that you do have the opportunity to do one of our virtual appointments where we're still wanting to address the same things that we're trying to do in the clinic. So we're there one-on-one, -on -one, still giving you the care, showing you at-home remedies, maybe making modifications to your program, but you have that option in case there's a cancellation that we're still able to continue that care that day. <music>